Hey golfers, Tony here with Reactionary Golf. I want to go over this arm transition. So once we get up to the top of the backswing, what do we do next? We're going to notice that if the body is really and this left arm is really tight, it's going to cause this left lat to kind of pull and I get rotate out of the way. You can see when I do that how the hands actually shift out. You'll actually see that cast happen. So the cast actually is from that body taking off and the arms aren't doing anything or at least mostly the right arm isn't doing anything. So from there, because the left arm is just gonna kind of be more of a connector. It doesn't really do a whole lot, it's more of a default fulcrum. So what I wanna see happening is more of the arms working down and this arm transition is not here. It's not gravity that's gonna bring the club down. We don't want that. We wanna control where that club needs to go. And that's the key is that right arm. So, when I get up to the top, I want that soft left hand, okay? And I wanna feel those arms working back into this position. Then from here, yeah, we get the body and all that going and check out the hip movement video to kinda of put that second piece into it. But this first piece is definitely an arm-driven motion. And the simple analogy, if we think about two planes, whether it banks left or banks right, that outside plane has to be relatively faster than the inside. If it doesn't, doesn't stay in formation, that inside plane takes off. So same thing with the golf swing. If I get up here and I go, that club head drops down like that, there's no way my arms can catch up and then all I'm doing is allowing to flip my hands at it at the bottom. So use your arms to accelerate that outside motion and that outside segment and club in order to stay in sync with the body. So again, we have to, as golfers, coordinate our body with the golf club. And we do that through the use of the arms. And more efficiently and effectively is the right arm, okay? This, having this bent throwing arm allows it to move faster and takes less effort. If I try to do it from here, this is gonna take a lot of work. And this muscle is really small, these deltoids, very inactive in golf swings. So then we're left with pulling with the lat and that throws things off. Dr. Kwan's done some great 3D research. He shows what he calls a helical trajectory of that club just flipping like that. So working the arm in transition keeps that club head more into kind of what he defines as a semi-plane swing and because it really doesn't get into a plane motion, which he calls his functional swing plane tool impact. So he's done some great work. Look forward to doing some research with him next year with the long drive guys. So... To kind of recap, arms in transition, flamingo drill, feet together drill. Get a feel for how to make that club go. We don't want it dropping down. We actually want it working back out to this line. So from there, just bust it through. Better you can do it with the right arm, the more efficient and effective it's gonna be. So keep practicing those drills. Develop your right arm swing in transition to hit it long and straight. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks for all the emails. Later.